So yeah, I'm going to just take this IQ test for some reason. I mean, I got nothing better to do. So let me see. Instructions for the IQ test. You must work mentally. Do I use pencil or paper during this test? You determine whether the statements are true or false. You will click either true or false to indicate your response. The test is time, so work quickly. But take enough time to consider each question seriously. Correct answers is more than the time. During your time, you must read and respond to 38 statements. You may take as long as you wish. But if you complete the test quickly, your score will increase. So be ready to concentrate and think fast. Okay. The word mineral can be spelled using only the words found in color element. False. Um, this sequence, this sequence of four words, triangles, gloves, clocks, bicycles, correspond to this sequence. Three, five, twelve, two. Triangles. How many triangles do, um, how many sides are on a triangle? One, two, three. A glove has one, two, three, four, five fingers. A clock has 12 minutes, and a bike of sickle has two wheels. This is the right uh, order. 27 minutes before 7 o'clock is 33 minutes past 5 o'clock. 27 minutes before 7 o'clock is 30 minutes past 5. False. The word because can be spelled by using first letters of the word. The following sentence, big elephants can always understand small elephants. Mm, I'm going to just say true. That was kind of a confusing question too. Um, if written backwards, the number 1,125 will be written 5,211. Written backwards, so 1,125, 5,211. False, because that's not even right. Okay, then there's Gary has only $48 if he borrows $57 from Jane and $15 from Jill he can buy a bicycle that costs $120 disregarding tax so he has $48 he borrows $57 from someone and $15 from another person so $48 57 57 and that cost the bicycle he's trying to buy cost $120 disregarding tax can he buy it yes he can he has more than enough if a round analog clock featuring 1 through 12 is hanging on a wall upside down the minute hand will be pointed to the right and the clock reads to 2.45. Okay, um, I'm going to just speed this up. And I'll be back when I got the freaking uh, test score.
Alright, so these are the three last ones. A square whose sides each measure 10 centimeters can completely fit inside a regular Heska's arm. Whose sides each measure 10 centimeters? False, I think. Six identical triangles can be formed by drawing two straight lines through an octagon center point. How would that work out? Octagon center point. Yes, it could. The number 64 is the next logical number in the following sequence of numbers. 2, 6, 14, 30. I don't even know, so I'm just going to put false. Robert is taller than John. Charlie is taller than Robert. Therefore, John is the sh shortest of the three. Wait a minute, what was the question? Robert is taller than John. Charlie is taller than Robert. Therefore, John is the shortest of them. Yes, he is. Cause, I mean, all of them are just tall. The sum of all the odd numbers from 0 to 16 is, ev is an even number. Said no calculators. I'm going to say true because I think I've done that before and it did add up to an even number. If each of the seven pe persons in a group shake hands with each of the other six persons, then a total of 42 handshakes occurs. If each of seven persons in a group shakes hands, each of the seven with each other, with the other six. So it's like six plus six, twelve. Then the total of forty two handshakes occurs. No. Uh -uh. Three congr congruent regular hexagons can be drawn in such a way that all the overlap each other and create more than six distant areas or compartments. Okay, I'm going to just say true because I don't know what the. If a donut shaped house has two doors to the outside and three doors to the inner courtyard, then it is possible to end up at the back of your starting place by walking through all five doors of the house without ever walking through the same door twice. What the. F okay, true. I, I don't know. I, here we are. So it turns out they emailed me the test scores. So here we go. So my test scores is 89. So that's my freaking IQ score. 89. I mean, that's good. That's kind of good. I mean, 89, I mean, it's it's alright. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad would be zero. 